I need to make sure this is working. Test, test, test. Can you hear us? Test, test, test. Can someone respond if you can hear us? I hear you. Test, test, test. Can someone hear us? Can someone respond if they're hearing us? Yes. Can you say nice things about us? All right, good morning. My name is Assistant Chief Scott Dingy. I'm in charge of the Crimes Against Persons section of JSO's Investigations Division. I'm here to announce a series of arrests that we made in a case uh, on April 27th of 2016, a little after noon. Uh, victim Keith Thompson, black male, age 23, was shot to death in the backyard of a house at 1035 Westbrook Circle East. Uh, that day, our detectives from our violent crimes impact team responded to investigate. They quickly determined that uh, they had surveillance video that actually captured this, this murder occurring. Uh, based on the video and, and interviews with witnesses, they were able to quickly identify four suspects. Keith Jackson, black male, age 25. Lewis Bracelet, black male, age 24. Brandon Roundtree, black male, age 24. And Chiron Horn, black male, age 22. Uh, based on the video surveillance and the information they uh, obtained during their investigation. On April 29th, the detectives were able to obtain murder warrants for all four suspects. On May 5th, Chiron Holmes was located at 3537 North Laura Street, and after a brief uh, SWAT call out, he surrendered without incident. Uh, prior to that, the detectives had determined uh, that very shortly after the murder, the other three suspects, Jackson, Bracelet, and Roundtree, had fled town to Lakeland, Florida. Uh, the detectives went down to Lakeland in an attempt to locate them. Unfortunately, were not able to do so because uh, the subjects had then fled again to a different town up in Hardyville, South Carolina. Uh, detectives again went up there to attempt to locate them, uh, but the three suspects fled to a trailer park in Gaston, South Carolina, which is just outside Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, these suspects were staying at a trailer with some relatives. Uh, in an attempt to hide from law enforcement. The uh, JSO detectives responded up there with the assistance of FBI agents and were conducting surveillance in the area in an attempt to locate uh, specifically which trailer these individuals were hiding in. Uh, while conducting surveillance yesterday afternoon, they actually observed the, all three suspects uh, those, before they could get any additional law enforcement resources to assist them. Uh, those three suspects got into a vehicle with a, another relative of one of the suspects and drove away from the area. Uh, our detectives maintained uh, visual sight on those suspects until additional law enforcement units could come to the area. At that point, <clears throat> excuse me, those three suspects then fled into a wooded area on foot. Uh, we had uh, agents from the FBI, the South, Carol South Carolina Law Enforcement Division, the Gaston Police Department, and the Lexington County Sheriff's Office all responded to assist uh, with the location of those suspects. They fled into a wooded area. A perimeter was established. That area was searched. And around 8 o'clock last night, all three suspects were taken into custody, custody uh, without incident. Uh, since that time, our detectives have been interviewing all three suspects up there. They have gained some very valuable investigative information, not only on this homicide, but multiple other homicides. I won't be releasing any uh, information about what homicides those are, but we do believe uh, that information is going to be very helpful uh, for us in clearing multiple homicides. It is believed that the victim was killed because he stole drugs and money from suspects Bracelet and Jackson. Uh, all the victim and all the suspects know each other. They all deal drugs together. And at some point, uh, these two suspects believed that the victim was stealing drugs and money from them. So they, uh, they had him, they participated in his murder. 
Again, this, uh, on this investigation, this murder investigation is very active still, a lot going on that we're going to continue to be working on. I would uh, I'd also like to point out the arrest of additional individuals that were assisting the suspects in some manner or impeding our investigation in some manner. Uh, I think it's imperative that, that we make that we highlight these individuals, that, we, that these individuals were arrested for uh, not cooperating with law enforcement. These subjects are Tia Richardson. She's a black female, friend of one of the suspects. She was arrested on May 3rd. Uh, Shawnee Holmes, black female. She is the victim's girlfriend. Uh, Alicia Henley, a black female who was girlfriend of Lewis Bracelet. Um, Holmes was arrested on May 5th, and Henley was arrested on May 10th. All three have been charged with providing false information to law enforcement during the investigation of a capital of offense. Uh, that offense is a third-degree felony. Uh, this part of the investigation is also ongoing and very active. We anticipate additional arrests on uh, either relatives or friends of the suspects for helping them escape or attempt to escape law enforcement. I'd like to thank the members of the FBI, the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division, and the local law enforcement agencies there in Gaston, South Carolina, for their assistance in helping us uh, capture these violent offenders. And at this point, I'll take any questions. What was the nature of the other homicides? Uh, were they drug-related? Were they gang-related? What, the, what was the nature? Like I said, I don't really want to get into which specifically which homicides and, and what the circumstances are. They are they are murders in that part of town, in that northwest part of town, the west side of town. Um, but I, again, as far as the circumstances, we're still. Uh, again, I don't want to really get into anything specifically. So who knew one another? Um, like I said, I, I, as far as the other murders, I don't really want to talk about that until we get much further along with that. How many? You said multiple, two, five. Uh, as many, it could be as many as seven additional murders. Over what period of time? Uh, within the last year, year and a half. Any idea whether they're in South Carolina? Uh, again, one of the, or two of the suspects had relatives distant relatives that lived up there in South Carolina. That's where they were staying at a, at a trailer park. On the run, did they do any more crimes when they were on the run, or they just ran? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Just They just ran. Can you confirm that Keith Jackson was also behind the wheel in the crash that killed Laura Early? I can't speak to that. I don't know about that investigation. Any other questions? Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Thanks, sir.